Hey, what is up, everybody? I am here to give you guys a video today, and I'm here to give you guys a Good Luck Charlie review. Um, it's been an extremely long time since I've said that, and I've done one. Um, the last time I actually did one, I think, was in February in 2014, and now here I am in June of 2015 giving you another one. The reason why I kind of slacked off is because I got busy doing other things, and um, it really didn't kind of go over well with the fan audience, really, either. No one really liked it, but uh, some people did like it, so I'm going to uh, just get back to to doing them. So um, if you don't like it, then, you know, it's whatever. Okay, so um, this episode was, if you want to check out um, my review of the first episode, I'll leave an annotation up there. Um, and, yeah, that's really all I have to say there. So this episode was season one, episode two. This episode was called, uh, Baby Come Back. And this is kind of, uh, cool in a way because I think there's a song that has that, has those words in the title, like, right when you kick it off. I think it's, that's kind of cool. And the original air date of, uh, this episode, like, the original date it came out was April 11th, 2010. Um... And, um, this episode I really enjoyed. I really actually, um, liked this show when I was, you know, when it was actually on, because it's really not on anymore, but I liked it. Um, so, um, and I went on Netflix, so it's easy for me to find. I, um, I remember I didn't have Netflix before, so that's also why I stopped doing these reviews. I had to find, I couldn't find this episode anywhere, so I found, now it's on Netflix, so I have a way to watch it now. Um... So, um, this episode starts off with, uh, Teddy, and she does, like, these, uh, as we saw in the first episode, she does these little video diaries, kind of, like, making YouTube videos where she kind of makes a, um, video to Charlie that she's gonna watch, um, years into the future, and, um, she, uh, talks about how, um, She's been um, been in the family for a while now, and um, everything how everything's going great in uh, the house, and then she and then she says what you're about to see now though was not pretty, and then she goes into the kitchen and her parents, um, Bob Duncan Bob Dun Duncan and um, Amy Duncan are um, doing uh, uh, having baby talk. They uh been talking like that pretty much ever since she was born and uh they were saying things like um do you want some sandwiches you know like in baby talk you know um do you want some um fishy wishies with your toffee waffies or something like that and teddy's like if they keep talking like that i'm gonna go crazy pretty much but she says it like in baby boys like crazy wazy i thought that was kind of funny um and P it's so bad that PJ, um, her brother, um, says, um, downloaded a podcast talking about the history of, uh, ballet. And Gabe's like, you like that? And he's like, more than baby talk, which I thought was awesome that he said that. Um, and then, um, We find out that Charlie isn't even there, so they're having baby talk when Charlie's not even there. I thought that was kind of awesome. And Teddy's like, why are you talking like that if Charlie's not even here? And uh, Bob just says, I don't really know, like in baby, but in baby boys, like I don't really know. Um, I guess they're just, I think they, they're just tired too. Um, and I think they're just so used to it because, you know, they, they're around Charlie so often that that's why they were doing that. And, um, Teddy's just like, and, uh, they're just like, but they're just spent, I think Amy says that they're just spent at this point, um, because Bob's like, well, we work all day, we take care of a baby all night, work day, baby shift, and he, he barely, he pretty much says, I barely have time to make doo-doo, which is like taking, which means taking a shit, and, um, Teddy's like, asks, when was the last time the had like a date night, like a the night with just the two of them, like a date, and um, they just laugh at she, 
they just laugh at Teddy and, uh, and Bob's just like Teddy make a funny and uh, Amy's like a funny oney. And uh, Teddy's like, "Moya, well, I'm serious. You guys are gonna have a date night tonight, because and do more fun and do something fun, more fun than uh, work, you know, more fun than what you normally do." And uh, Amy's like, "Well, yeah, that does sound nice, but who's gonna take care of Charlie while we're gone?" And Teddy's like, "Well, you have three great babysitters right here, referring to Teddy, PJ, and Gabe, and Te and PJ, who's listening to the podcast, is just like, I'm glad I didn't hear that." So he knows something went wrong right there. Um, but Amy's like, I don't know. I don't really feel like going out. I'm not ready to go out without Charlie yet. And um, then Gabe's like, hey, you, you guys want to see a magic trick? Because he's he's, uh, he's starting to do magic tricks now. And they're like, yeah, sure. And he tries to do this trick where um, they uh, do, magicians will do this trick where they try to take everything off the table and make it like disappear or something. And Pete, Gabe does it and I guess just fails. I really don't know how you do that trick anyway, so I can't really tell you. And then um, after he does this though, Amy's just like, I could use a night out. And then it cuts to the theme song, which the theme song's pretty good. It's not that bad. Um, then, um, and the, you know, it shows all the cast and stuff like that, the people that play them. Um, and if you want to look it up, you can uh, just watch this video pretty much. And um, then it cuts to the actual, back to the actual episode itself. And uh, Teddy's just like, um, now I want you guys to have a good time tonight, have so much fun. And, uh, you know, but she's like, but not too much fun because we don't want to have another kid. Um, and she's kind of talking like she's like the parents and stuff like that. And then Bob goes to leave and she's like, I'm serious. And then um, Bob says, uh, "It's nice um, that you do. It's it's not." She thank Bob thanks Teddy for doing this, saying it's gonna be nice that um, you and your mom, your mom and I get some alone time. And then uh, Teddy just says, "Bob, move your butt." And then she and then he goes, "I'm coming." And he did, it was really funny. It was actually really funny because it was supposed to be like this nice moment, but then she's just kind of being like a bitch to him. So it was really funny. So then Teddy's all happy that you get that they're doing this, and uh, PJ and Gabe are just like on the computer, and um, Teddy's asks um, how um, Teddy wants to make shifts because they're gonna be gone for hours, so they want to take shifts, and she asks who wants to go first, and P P and Gabe says I think you should go first. And PJ says, and second, and third. So they pretty much just want to leave all the work. And P Teddy's like, not having that. She says, I'm not going to do this all by myself. And um, she's like, you guys have to help out too. And PJ says, fine, I'll go fourth. And then P P Teddy's like, there is no fourth. And PJ's going to go to the poke. And Teddy's like, well, why don't you take um, Char Charlie with you? And... Uh, PJ says, what is a baby going to do at a poke? And then she just says, well, you can show her the duck pond. You can show her the sky and stuff like that. And then PJ says, wait, she's going to look at stuff? That's what TV's for. And that was, really fu that was pretty funny. So they're at the poke. And PJ is riding this, um, I don't know what exactly what it's called. Um, it's those things you would see at the playgrounds um, that you would swim on. Not the seesaw, but like it, it would be like this little animal or something. Um, and, uh, a little kid's looking at him, and this kid looks like he could be PJ's son, because he has the same blonde hair, um, and everything. Um, I'm thinking it's either, like, related to him somehow, because it's, this kid has to be related to him. But he's, the kid's looking at him like he's a nut, and PJ's like, what are you looking at? And, um, he says, you can buy the duck. I couldn't buy the duck. I look pretty, I look silly on the duck. Yeah, he looks silly on the duck, but he doesn't look silly. He was like riding on a seal, and then the kid, but the but he gets off anyways, and then um, he uh, is um, riding around, and um, he meets this guy, and this is gonna be important later on. That's why I'm bringing it up. But I brought up Gabe's magic trick because that's gonna get important later on in this episode too, um, and um. 
he meets this guy. He's dressed up in a cape and stuff like that. Like, he's dressed up like a superhero. And um, PJ's like... And uh, he's like an entertainer. Um, so he goes to kids' birthday parties and stuff like that. And um, P- and he can't find one. So PJ's like, well, there's a bouncy house at the end of the park. And the guy's like, great. Another trip to the e- EO. Um, and then PJ's like, who are you supposed to be anyway? Like, anyway. And, uh, the guy's like, Captain Stretchy. Uh, that's his name. That's his name. Cap- Captain Stretchy. It's not his actual name, probably, but it's like, that's his name. Um, uh, that's what they call him throughout this whole episode. Um, and he's like, um, what it... And uh, PJ says, well, what's your superpower supposed to be? And he said, super elasticity, which is pretty much he's like um, the Incredibles girl that, um, you know, that's, that I forget her name, but she was the one that could stretch out. That's pretty much what his superpower is. So then he sees like a quarter on the ground and he tries to grab it and he's so fat that he can't grab it. And he's like, ah, oh, forget it. It's not like it's a dollar, right? Um, and then PJ sees this. Hot girl, and I'll get I'll, and this girl was pretty hot. I'll give. Um, I don't think she was like amazingly hot, but I think she was pretty hot. Um, and um, um, then um, he meets her, and they start, They introduce each other. Um, and um, PJ, uh, we find out this girl's name is Emma. And, um, the thing is that this is going to get important. They both have the same strollers. Um, and PJ makes up some bullshit about how, um, they, uh, always go, they always do this stroll at the park because Emma says the same thing. And PJ's just pretty much making up a bunch of lies that way he can win this girl because he kind of likes this girl. And, uh, they talk about how they, um, saw Captain Stretchy and, um, how they pretty much say that he's not a really good entertainer, that he sucks. And um, Emma says, Emma talks about the story about um, how one year they had him for his uh, brother's, for her brother's birthday party. Um, by the way, uh, not the, her, her brother is the one also that she's taking on a stroll, but it wasn't his. Um, and we never find out her brother's name at all. Ah, I needed that. So, um, she talks about this story about, um, how Captain Stretchy, um, sat on the cake. And, uh, the candles were lit when he sat down. So, he sat in the punch bowl after that, you know, to put out the fire. And that sounds hilarious. I can just picture, like, that whole scene. And Captain Stretchy's like such a goof that it was so funny. I thought it was hilarious. Then, um, you know, they talk for a while. Um, and, uh, then, uh, there was a funny quote where, um, Emma says, you know, it's really nice that you took, um, you take your sister out to the park every day. My brothers would never do anything like that. And what she's actually referring to is that she would never do anything like that, you know, for her, for their brother. And PJ says, well, I hope not. She is my sister. Dude, that was that was an awesome line right there. Um, then, um, g- back at the um, house, um, Gabe shows her a uh, magic trick. Shows Teddy a magic trick. I, not Emma, Teddy. I, I got lost. And uh, it's going to be this trick. And um, where... Um, it, it, where he has the hat from, like that a magician would use normally wear, and uh, there's a quarter and an egg, and uh, it pretty much fails. He drops the egg, drops and splats all, all over the place, and uh, I'm gonna get back to that because they use this later on in the show, and Teddy even says what was supposed to happen, so then um, PJ comes home, and um, she he's all pumped. Um, because he just met this girl, he, ta- he tells her, he, he tells him about him, he says that he's, anytime she wants to go to the park, sign me up, because he wants to see Emma, obviously, and, um, 
um, you know, they she's she's talking a lot of positive stuff. Um, and then uh, Teddy goes eventually goes to change um, Charlie's diaper, and then she changes and she finds out that this isn't Charlie. He brought, PJ brought home a blind baby, uh, which was awesome, which I thought was uh, pretty funny, and um, PJ's like, "How do you know?" And he's like, "Look, one poach," and then. Um, the um, Emma's brother pisses, you know, because he has like a penis, so that happens. And then Gabe said, "There's nothing wrong with those poats." Um, that was uh, that was funny, um, because you know they both had the same stroller, so I guess it was easy to get confused. Um, and um, then it like went to commercial, and then when it comes back, it doesn't actually go to commercial on Netflix, but I remember when it goes to com commercial because they would do this thing on the show. When it would go on commercial, um, and then um, it comes, it, it would, it came back, and uh, they're like, "How could you bring home the one baby?" And PJ says, "I just got a little distracted. Emma was so hot, pretty." And uh, Teddy says, "Well, so was Charlie." So they have, they're gonna go back to the park and find her. But then PJ's like, "Well, I got her number," and uh, Teddy's like, "Well, why don't you call her?" And PJ's like, "Well, is it too soon? I don't want it." To see him like I'm desperate. And Teddy's like, oh, you're desperate. Because she's like pissed. And uh, PJ, and uh, so then PJ calls her. And it ends up being a Chinese restaurant. Um, and um, yeah, uh, that was funny. And uh, Teddy's like, she gave you the wrong number. And PJ said, no, and Gabe says, there's a shock. Um, and PJ's like, but... We talked, we connected, we had a connection, and we, I gave her gum and helped her change her poopy diaper. It was all so romantic. It was kind of sad, but it was supposed to be funny. So then, um, Amy calls Teddy's phone, and, uh, Teddy, uh, answers it, and, uh, she talks about, she makes up a bunch of bullshit lies about, um, how they're having a great time, and she doesn't actually say Charlie's name, she just says baby, because I guess they didn't want to, I have no clue why they didn't say Charlie's name, actually. I really don't know. Um, and Amy wants to talk to um, Charlie. But, she, you know, obvious. And uh, Teddy's like, okay, you can talk to him. She almost slips and says him. But she's like, but then she says, huh, huh. And um, she puts the phone to the baby show, and he doesn't say anything. So then uh, Teddy starts making uh, baby noises in the... Um, phone like Ooh, ah ah it was so stupid and um amy kind of i think realizes it a little bit because uh it's, well you obviously can't hear her, her half of the conversation but then teddy says what no of course i'm not I'm, I'm not making baby noises in the phone that's just crazy then um then she leaves and um now i was gonna say that um, and then PJ says, "Not that I'm in the position to criticize, but I was, but I was getting more monkey because uh, the baby noises that Teddy were making did sound like monkey noises." And I was gonna say that, but PJ already said it in the show. In the show, so you know it was so true. So then they go to the park, and the whole reason Gabe wants to go is to meet the girl that blew off PJ, which I think is hilarious. Um, so then they're at the park, and um, they're trying to find Emma. And, um, they run into, Ca PJ runs into Captain Stretchy again, and he's all happy to see him. Um, he's acting like a little kid, like, how oh, happy he is to see him, because it was, it was so funny. And, um, he, uh, asks for help to find, um, Emma. And, um, they do a lot of stuff, like, they, he doesn't know her because he works a lot of birthday parties, um, and uh, then eventually um, he does tell her, um, he's like, well, how interesting. You guys need information, and I need a model, which is like a man girl, I guess. I've never heard of it. Um, and uh, I guess they ain't cheap, so we, I guess uh, he needs help. And uh, he uh, starts fingering his hands like this to, for a bribe. And PJ, and PJ didn't get it at first, which I thought was hilarious. He's like, 
stop um, wiggling your hands together or something like that. And Gabe has to tell him that he wants to bribe. So uh, we find out that Emma's from a big family. And um, um, he and uh, he lists all the names that um, all the people that he's been for this family. And one of the people that he's been is Cowboy Bob. Which I think is kind of cool because I am a wrestling fan. So, you know, I'm a, like, you know, wrestling, I know. Not a lot of people watch wrestling, but I am a wrestling fan. And there was a wrestler in the WWE named uh, Cowboy Bob Orton. So I don't know if that's who he's talking about, but I thought that was kind of cool. If it is, you know, because it could be another Cowboy Bob I just don't know about. But I'm just going to, I think it is that the Cowboy Bob from WWE. And I think um, that's kind of cool that they did reference that. You know, um, I thought that was kind of cool. And um, Gabe's just like, Gabe mentions somebody, and uh, Captain Stretch is like, yeah, you're familiar with my work, aren't you? And then Gabe says, yeah, and it stinks. And then um, Captain Stretchy pulls out like a balloon and tells him to turn, because he's like, well, yeah, you think it's so easy? Turn this into a schnauzer. And Gabe just looks at it, and he's like, like he doesn't know how to do it. And uh, Captain Stretch is like, oh yeah, you can't do it, can you? Well, maybe it's because you don't have the chops. Which I thought was awesome. Um, and um, so the Teddy, they're going to, Teddy's like, you, okay, Captain Stretcher, you help us. We'll get you into that moto by tomorrow. And uh, he's like, she she has to say that they're not literally going to put him into it. He's going to have to do that himself. Like he didn't already know that, but whatever. Um, so then uh, they go to the, uh, go to the bug, mo you know, the bug mobile that, um, they drive. Well, they're going to go to the car. And Captain Stretchy says, Captain Stretchy, away. And he goes like to the in the wrong direction, which I thought was funny. Because uh, Peach is like, truck car is this way. So then um, the next thing that happened on this uh, episode was um, at, uh, was Bob and Amy are at the restaurant. Um, and... Um, they're at, like, this Mexican restaurant, too. Um, and um, Bob says, the first thing that you, the, the, the first line that happens in this scene is, uh, Bob says, order whatever, he tells Amy, order whatever you want, honey. Um, this place is one of my best customers. And Amy says, not what you want to hear from an exterminator. Which it, it is, and you don't want to really hear that from um, an exterminator, I agree. Um... And then um, we see that the reason why they're showing this scene is we see that Emma's family's there. So that means Charlie's there. Which I I wonder how Emma is kind of playing it off really well. You know? Like uh, Emma um, is um, like they're talking about how bad because later on they... Everyone's pretty much talking about how bad PJ screwed up by taking the one baby. Emma screwed up just as bad, you know? So I don't really get it. And um, the thing I kind of don't understand, if you look at it logically, is when they were trying to call her. Um, the second that Emma saw that she had Charlie, why did, I'm, assume, unless PJ, I'm assuming PJ had to have given her his number too. And... Uh, I don't understand why PJ wouldn't get why she wouldn't call PJ because I'm assuming that P, they probably exchanged phone numbers, um, but I don't know. I could be wrong because sometimes I'll if I meet somebody new, um, and um, you know sometimes like somebody will just give me their number and I'll just te um, they'll just text me, um, on and I'll just text them later on and say that it's me, and then um, afterwards. Um, or it would be vice versa, you know. Um, I would give somebody my number, and uh, then um, they would um, and uh, they would like text me. It's them, and uh, I would say okay, and then I would add them to like my contact. So it could have been that. So I'm just uh, kind of wondering, but um, we see Emma's family's there, and then uh, Amy's going to the restroom, and she sees Charlie, and. Uh, she goes to tell Bob about it. She's like freaking out about it. And uh, Bob's like, well, what do you think happened? Um, so the, a family went over to our 
house stole a baby and t and took a took him out to eat. Um, and ch then Amy says, "Well, I don't know. Maybe that's how they get the babies. That is a big family. Maybe that's how they get the babies." Um, and uh, Amy even says, "Well, the mother knows a baby, and that is my baby." Um, and uh, Bob says, "Well, you're probably just having you you've been away from Charlie for a while, and you have you're probably just having a little separation anxiety." So then they start laughing about how ridiculous it is, and Amy's kind of bullshitting, so she's going to go to the ladies' room again. And Bob, like, sit down. Now let's enjoy the rest of our night out at this very lovely restaurant. And right after he says that, somebody that works there whispers something in his ear. Um, and uh, he says that he's needed in the kitchen because there, I guess there was a bug in there. And as um, I thought this was awesome, too, because uh, as he said that, Amy was eating food. Um... And, um, then she sees this, and, um, and then, uh, she just kind of stops. I would stop myself. So then, uh, the next thing that happens in this episode is, um, Teddy, PJ, Gabe, and Captain Stretchy are driving around trying to find, uh, Charlie and Emma. Charlie's calling, em Teddy is calling Charlie's name, and, uh, PJ is calling, uh, Emma's name. And then Gabe says Malco, and then um, Captain Stretchy says Pol Polo. And um, Teddy asks if this looks familiar to Captain Stretchy, and he says, "Well, maybe it does, and maybe, or maybe it doesn't." And that's normally what you would say if you want to bribe. And Teddy's like, "Okay, you're not getting any more money." Um, but uh, Captain Stretchy actually has night blindness, which I didn't, I don't know, which I didn't really know was a thing until I saw this episode. But apparently, night blindness is a thing. Um, I don't know if you can wear glasses for night blindness, too. I kind of wonder. And um, Teddy um, says, well, why didn't you mention that earlier? Um, and Captain Stretch, he says, well, I needed a ride home. And then they he tells him to stop. And uh, the, the lad is how, outside his house. And Captain Stretch says, oh, great. Mom's up. We have to just hang with you kids. And then Teddy says, Captain Stretchy, away. Um, and then they leave. And PJ's try, trying to come up with new things to do. And uh, Teddy says, no, we have to give up. It's over. We have to tell Mom and Dad what happened. They'll know what to do. And PJ just says, how am I going to tell them I lost our baby sister? I'm the oldest. They're going to think I'm the most responsible. And Teddy says, uh, PJ, if it makes you feel better, nobody thinks that. <laughs> Which I wouldn't make me feel better because, you know, I just wouldn't. Um... And he says that they're all in this together. They're all going to take the fall uh, when this happens. And PJ even says, um, why am I always messing everything up? And uh, Teddy says, well, this could have happened to any of us. Okay, most likely you, but... And then she says, you know, all in this together. And then Gabe sees that um, Captain Stretchy dropped his driver's license. And on his driver's license, it says that he weighs 175 pounds. And... He pretty much says 175 is my ass, but they PG it because it's like a PG show. And um, he like th and he throws his driver's license right out the window. I guess that thing's gone now. Um, I kind of don't understand why he didn't just... So wait a second, if they... How do you... I, I don't know. Um, but then um, they're at the restaurant... And they, Bob has this mariachi band. Well, I don't know if he actually had to play, but there's this mariachi pl band playing for uh, Bob and Amy. Um, and Amy just looks annoyed by it. And they clap. And, uh, you know, the kids arrive at the restaurant to tell them what happened. And Teddy's, and uh, PJ asks, would it be better if we have the mariachi band do it? And then Teddy says, well, if it's in uh, Spanish, probably. So then the mariachi band walks away, and then they see em and then um they see Emma and Charlie, and they get all happy because they think they're gonna um, you know, get out of this situation without having to get in trouble. But then Bob and Amy see them, so then um, Teddy goes to talk to them to kind of stall for time to, and um, Teddy says that um Teddy says that they're gonna hand her off early um because uh you guys are probably missing Charlie the. And uh, Amy's like, oh, Teddy, you're not fooling me. And Teddy thinks that she's on to her. But then Amy says, uh, you're already getting sick of Charlie by now, and you want to hand her off early. And, 
Amy's just about to barge and go get her, but then uh, Teddy's like, no, 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 come on, you're on a date, I'll bring her to you. And then um, Teddy goes over to Gabe and whispers something in his ear. And he's like, right now? And he's like, okay. So then he does that magic trick that he did earlier in the episode where he pulls all the stuff off the table. But this time, however, there was... Um, because there was a bunch of guacamole um, and sauce and stuff on the table. So when he pulled the stuff off the table, it got into everybody. It got all over Amy and Bob. And this was like, this kind of blinded them. So um, they, while this is happening, and um, Teddy and um, Emma make the switch. Um, they switch uh, Charlie for their baby. And um, they do it all in slow motion. I thought it looked awesome. Um, it made it really... It looked. It made it look better than it would. That it would, and uh, and slow. And uh, then you see T Amy say Gabe to uh, because she's pissed. And Gabe just kind of takes off. He's like, for my next trick, I'm gonna make a little boy disappear. Um, and then afterwards, um, so then Teddy, no, then uh, PJ kind of confronts Emma because um, he's upset that she gave him a fake phone number. But PJ actually put it in the phone number one. Um, and then uh, he kind of chases her, you know. And then um, they, PJ, Teddy hands over Charlie to her parents and to, to Bob and Amy. And they're starting baby talk. And Teddy even says, I never thought I would be happy to hear baby talk. And then they see uh, Charlie's binky, but it actually is not Charlie's binky. So, Teddy, so Amy's asking, um, like, where she got it. And uh, Teddy's like, well, that's a funny story. And then she has the mariachi band play. So that so that way, that she, and then she's like, too loud. I'll tell you later. And then uh, back at the house, um, Teddy's making a little video diary. And uh, she talks about how your home's safe and sound and everything turned out okay for you. But it didn't really turn out well for us kids. Um, because after this, because we find out that Amy was asking like a bunch of questions and nobody really had an answer for the pee stains on the floor. And then Amy comes up and says, and that's when the truth came out and all the t kids got into trouble. And then she walks and then she says, if you try to pull one over on mom, good luck, Charlie. And that's kind of how they usually end every episode too. Um, and then, um, Ch Teddy says, couldn't have said it better myself. Then, um... They do a, like a little skit after we... They usually do these after we the episode. It doesn't really have anything to do with the plot, but they do these little skits where it's supposed to just be for comedy. I'm fine with that. Um, and P, um, Gabe... I always keep messing up his name. I keep meaning to call Gabe PJ, but... Gabe um, is doing that trick where he takes the quarter and the egg and puts him in a hat. And then uh, what actually happens is... Uh, Somehow, when he cracks the egg, the quarter comes out, and um, Captain Shrek is like, "Whoa, that's a really neat trick! How do you do it?" And Gabe's like, "Interesting. You need information, and I need video game money." So then, um, he gives him like you know twenty bucks because that's probably how much video games cost. Um, and then uh, Gabe just walks off and says, "What a chump!" And then Captain Shrek is like, "Hey, who are you calling a chump?" And then that was the end of the uh, episode. So to be honest with you, I really liked this episode. I thought it was really funny. And uh, yeah, I thought it was funny. It was really good. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm going to uh, end off this video. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to make, remain more active active in this uh, on, on this channel. Um, I'll try to you know, post more videos as much as I can. I don't want to make any promises just because of the fact that, uh, I always say that and then I end up, uh, disappearing. So, uh, this time I'm going to remain act more active. Um, I just got busy with other things, so, yeah. But I'm going to, tomorrow I'm going to make my, uh, 100th video on this channel, which is three years in the making, so, um, I'll definitely suggest you check that out. And you can click on the left-hand corner to subscribe to uh, my channel. And that's pretty much it, guys. And I'll be back to give you a video um, at some point. So that's pretty much it, guys. See you later.